What's up, Mahouts? I don't normally jump in at the screen before the level here. I just want to show you that we're, the game is totally convinced that we have 117% of the game done, which I think is pretty freaking awesome, to be honest with you. In this video, we all know what's coming. It's time for our final reward! We get to go into the 20,000 area. We, you know, we finish this whole level, basically. And that's essentially all the gems in the game. Well, where is the derp running into the walls? Maybe it's right up here. Yeah, this is the this is the this door will only open if you collect every single gem in the game. Let's see what it leads to. What the heck? I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Let's let's see her try. Your best chance to defeat her is to borrow my flying saucer. I've cast some spells on it to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time, but the rest is going to be up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her! Let me at her. I'm ready for this. Haha! <laughs> Take that! Let's see, how do I, uh... What can I do with this thing? Right now she seems to just going to be running away from us. Of course, you have to lead her. Oh, look out. Oh, boy. We should have picked up some extra health for the Sparks before we came in here. I don't know how to dodge these shots. Whoa. Is there, like, another button I can push to, like, speed up or something? Triangle? Nothing. No. Whoa. Basically, this is a saucer dogfight to the finish. Very exciting, actually. Oh, I gotta pull up sooner than that. This is a really tough battle, to be honest with you. She's got a lot of health. It's very tough. Whoa! Oh, man. There must be a faster way to maneuver this thing. Oh, and we died. That's a bummer. Hmm. Alright, Sparks. Let's have another go at it. If we can get behind her, we can sort of just... Oh, I'm missing all these shots. Are you serious? I can't, I can't figure out how far I need to lead her by. And she changes speed sometimes. No, oh, there's no way to maneuver this thing more quickly, is there? I'm like trying all the buttons, like there's gotta be another way. Unlimited firepower, yeah that's great, but if I can't move fast enough to dodge these things, it's not really gonna do much good to me. See now I'm just like right in a, right in a range. There's nothing I can do! I'm doing worse than last time. You see she gets really far away from you on the other side of the court. And it's like the best you can do is to try... That time she waited until I turned again before she could hit me. That's actually... I must be missing something here. They can't just... It can't be that hard. They can't expect you to do the whole thing in three hits, you know? Just... Oh, I'm shooting under her, aren't I? Now I'm shooting way behind her. These projectiles move really slowly. So I guess flying straight up might be a good way to dodge these. I don't know. She moves really quickly, and like a lot of the time when she's in your sights, she's actually like in the way. The uh, actual saucers in the way, so it can be kind of tough. Just keep flying, I guess. Staying above her is probably a good idea, though. It's usually a good idea in any like dogfight-based thing. Oh, that one we barely dodged. Shoot way in front. Haha, <laughs> take that! Crazy sorceress. Oh, pull up, pull up! Oh, wasn't fast enough. Alright, don't get careless. Don't get cocky, kid. There's more. Uh, I'm not even going to botch the quote. Yeah, you got to shoot way out in front of her when she starts moving fast. Oh, and don't fly in straight towards her when she's going... Oh, what's this? She's doing it up in the air. Maybe the fight's getting a little bit more intense. Whoa. I think we actually can dive faster than we pull up, so this might work to our advantage. But she doesn't know that. I'm right on her tail now. Hehehe. <laughs> Get it? Because she actually has a tail. Both of these characters actually have tails. It's kind of cool. Oh, I'm taking hits, man. I'm getting careless, and I'm not hitting her either. This is a tough fight, I'm gonna be honest. These dog fights, the bullets are so slow. My shots just don't. Whoa! They don't get there in time. 
So every shot I'm missing is because I'm shooting behind her. Oh, and you're done. This is intense. This is an intense battle. Like I gotta say, at the end of the game here, they turn up the heat. They make they make it actually uh, quite a bit tougher for you. I guess getting in as many shots as you can at this very beginning stage is a good <laughs> strategy here. She's moving pretty slowly at this point still. Ooh. Alright, we got like a third of her health down already. So you gotta shoot farther ahead of her than you'd think you'd need to. And pull up earlier than you... Basically, start pulling up as soon as you get the chance. As soon as you start seeing her, she's, she, like she's getting ready to shoot at you. You can keep leading her around this arena. I think you actually can keep her going in circles for a long time, too. So, you know. Keep the heat on her. Don't cut the corners too sharp. Sometimes, though, if you don't cut it sharp enough like this, you see I'm just shooting behind her every time. Here we go. Now I'm kind of getting the hang of this. I got her on the run. A little higher there, a little higher. Oh, it looks like they're going right past her. There we go. Here we go. Ha ha! You can't escape me, sorceress! Ha 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 ha! Is that what I think it is? Take that. The final baby dragon! Aww! Twins! The end. <laughs> like, what the hell is this thing? Oh, that's so cute! What? That's not how you breathe fire. Come on. <laughs> Grow up, man. Oh! Oh! And another great... Oh, that... When I hear that theme music, that's, uh... It's pretty crazy, this, uh... This same music is used in the credits of all three Spyro games, and it has a very good connotation for me, because I really enjoyed the first Spyro game, and the first time I heard this music, I was really excited to hear it. it took me a while to get through Nasty Nork when I was a kid. There it is, guys, another Spyro game. We are not done yet. Some of you are suspecting, I think, that there will be a bonus episode. Uh, there's actually going to... I don't know if... Um, I had a bunch of failed attempts at the power sledding a bit, and it's like nine minutes of failure, so I, I think I cut that one out. I don't know if I'm going to put that... I was considering making a bonus episode, but I don't think it'd be very interesting to watch, so we'll just cut that one. But there is something else coming up, the skill points. It turns out that if you get all the skill points in the game, actually, if you get half the skill points, you get a certain reward at the end of the game. And if you get all the skill points, you get a better reward at the end. And so I'm going to be making a video showing you where all the skill points are. And then I'll show you what the reward is for getting them all. So that'll be a bonus episode after this one. I just wanted to go ahead and finish because this game is so awesome! I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get to that sorceress uh, dogfight. I wish that it, it had been a little bit more involved. I have to say, they, they sort of copped out as far as final bosses are concerned. Uh, and on that note, I guess this is the time for me to compare the three games. So, which of the three do I think is the best game? Spyro the Dragon, Ripto's Rage, or Year of the Dragon? That's a really tough one. Um, I'm going to have to say the first one. Uh, because, well, just because I liked it the most when I was a kid, really. That's, that's the reason I would pick it. But, from a, just from the certain point of view, that the fact that we didn't have the hover yet in the first game made the level design a little bit more difficult for them, and it, it made them have to make the levels very well fine, finely tuned, so that you could just barely make some of the glides. And that was, that was part of the challenge of the game. And I really liked the first game, the... Each time you unlock the dragon, you got you got some little reward from it by seeing it. Whereas in the second game, the orbs were just like, okay, here's an orb. And the third game, the baby dragons was we we made that exciting, I think, as pilots with our little meme. But uh, if you're just watching it, your Flo Rida actually voiced a character in this game. Seriously, is that what I just saw? Or was it Florida? I think I thought his name was D A. Whatever. Anyway, that's a D E. 
But anyway, when you see the dragons in this game, you, you just get a little cutscene and they don't they don't say anything. But it was it was neat in the first game to get the advice from the older dragons and getting to interact with them more throughout the whole game. And Spyro had some witty dialogue with some of them. It was it was good stuff. Uh, as far as enemy creativity is concerned, I think that they went with really really great enemy creativity and the entire the entire series had basically two different two or three different kinds of enemies for every level, and they all made good sense for the levels they were in. Except maybe for the seahorses in the dinosaur level, that was weird. I don't know, whatever. That, that doesn't bother me much. Uh, as far as final bosses are concerned, the best one... Hmm. Of the three final bosses, the worst has got to be the third one. I'm going to put that one out there because... For one thing, the music doesn't play. There's like, there's no epic boss music when you fight the sorceress the first time. And it's a very sort of a linear fight. You just throw the, the different powers at her and that's it. Uh... And then the, when you get to challenge her again at the very end with that dog fight, it's fun, but it's really like a one-stage fight. There's not a whole lot going on. When you face, uh, let's see, who's which, which, one, which one was the best of the three? Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't know. I, I, I really like the fight with Nasty Nork, but a lot of people really like the fight with Ripto, too. So I guess it's, it's one of those, too, obviously. Um... Uh, so when you fight Ripto, you've got like a three-stage fight with various powers, like like you did with the with the sorceress. You get to use those things, and then at the end of the fight, you fly around over a pit of lava with this epic opera music playing, and it's just it, it really is an epic final fight, and it's a great finish to the game. And when you fight Nasty Nork at the end, you could, you chase down a couple thieves. So it's like a multi-stage fight because you actually go through his entire level as you beat him, and your final <laughs> success. When you, I guess I'm gonna end up picking Nasty Nork as the best final boss because chasing on the thieves, getting the keys, unlocking the way, and having him looking down at you the whole time, he feels like a, like an imposing figure, and you're afraid of like the damage he's gonna deal to you while you're trying to get the thieves. And you finally catch him at the end, you know, and he runs off down the track, and you've got to keep up with him, or he'll go, or he'll take you for the loop. And then you got that part with the platforms that are sinking into the walls. That took me so many tries as a kid, but that was so rewarding when I finally got to him. You flame him, he drops all those purple gems, falls to his knees, and Spyro says, You're toast, Nork. That is just, that's so corny, but that is the best line to finish a game with. I mean, come on, that is awesome. And then I, I, just, I really gotta say, I did enjoy the Spyro trilogy. Thank you, Insomniac. We had four great fun sleep... Are we actually doing the credits again? I think we already did the credits the first time we beat the game. <laughs> Whatever, I don't I don't care. It's a good opportunity for me to talk about this again. Because I didn't talk about my final game comments the first time. So uh I guess in the next video, in the last video, so this is the finale here, we're gonna have a bonus episode where I do the skill points. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next LP. Baby Dragon!